Ray McCallum competed in the 2011 World University Games in China as a member of the USA basketball team, and I caught up with him at the University Village where all the athletes were staying to discuss his experience. The experience has been great. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Um, really fortunate and blessed that I got the opportunity to be a part of USA basketball, and I'm really happy to be here. Now, tell me about the tryout process and everything in Colorado and everything it took to actually get here in China. Uh, it started out in Colorado Springs about a month ago. Um, it was 20 of us trying out for 12 spots. Um, the trials were going really well for about three days, and uh, they cut it down to 14 guys. And uh, they were supposed to cut it down to 12, but they said uh, guys were playing too well. So um, they kept 14 of us for about three more extra days, and then they finally cut it down to 12 of us, which was the final roster. Um, it, it was a tough, tough, uh, tough training camp, about nine days. Um, guys got better and uh, became close as a team and now we're out here, you know, we we're trying to compete for a gold medal. Came up short, but you know, still competing for fifth place. Do you feel like you were prepared for that? Uh, I mean, yeah, definitely. You know, the coaching staff did you know, a great job getting us prepared and uh, our team chemistry was great. And, um, you know, we, we just kind of fell short to Lithuania, but, you know, like I said, we still got opportunity to, you know, finish out and have the best record here at the, um, at the tournament. So that's what our goal is now. And tell me more about the team chemistry and the relationships you've built or you've built with the other players. Um, at first, you know, everyone was kind of just, you know, doing their own thing. Not, not everyone really knew each other. But as the team um, was starting to get cut down more and more uh, throughout the training camp, guys started getting close, hanging out more. And um, once that, those last, you know, that last cut was made, right before then, everyone got real close, all 14 of us. And, um, uh, you know, it was unfortunate that those two guys had to get cut. Um, but we kind of still feel like they're still part of this team and um, then the 12 of us we've just been close we've been together for a month so we've built we've built great relationships between each other what about the coaching staff you're playing for coach Stevens how's that been um, it's been a great experience you know coach Stevens is a you know a really good coach and uh, he really knows the game well and he, you know he's he's helped me and uh, watching film and you know just talking to me on the side and just doing things that you know just to help better all of our games and you know he's really helped me at personally. What does this opportunity mean for the University of Detroit and the Horizon League? Uh, I mean it means a lot you know it's just opportunity to uh, to get the you know this the name University of Detroit out there and um, you know is you know help also our conference with coach Stevens and uh, you know also the Horizon League has had about four players playing some international competition this, this summer so I mean, it's a great opportunity for, every, for everyone in Horizon League and uh, just help better our conference. And what has your role been on the team? Um, my role is whatever the coaches tell me to do. Um, whenever I get in the game, I, I just try to do all the little things to help our team win. First, most important is uh, defending the ball. Coach Painter is, you know, big on pressuring the ball. And when I have open shots, I'm taking them and trying to make plays for others and just do all the things to help my team win. All right, well, you've been here for about two weeks now, so what do you think of China? Um, I think China is great. The people here are really nice. Um, you know, they welcome us with open arms, and uh, the weather's been good. It's been really warm, but um, had a lot of fun, and uh, glad I got to be out here. Tell me about the food here, and the culture, and the people that you interact with. Um, well, Chinese food was Chinese food is my favorite food, and so when I got out here, I've been fine eating the food. I eating a lot of rice, a lot of chicken, and then uh, staying here at this village, we have actually a McDonald's. A, I hate to do it, but I ate it a couple times, but um, the food here has been good. Um, I like a lot of fried rice, so I've been doing that, and everything's good. So, I mean, it's, it's been good. Didn't lose any weight, so I'm good. How is the village that all the athletes are staying in, and how are the venues that you guys are playing in? What do you think of them? Um, it's real nice. Um, the village, there's like 7,000 athletes here. Uh, there's probably like 15 apartments that we're all staying in. For us, it's three to a room. Um, I mean, it, 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 the, the food's good, everything here is good. Um, they got everything you need here, internet, you, you know, uh, talk to people back home. So, I mean, everything's been good. It, you feel like you're kind of at home and, I mean, it's been good, it's been good. How did it feel to have your dad and your family out here? Um, it's been great, you know, um, walking out for warm-ups, get to see my family out there. Uh, you know, it, it makes me happy and, and proud that they got the opportunity to come out here and support me. So, I mean, it's a great feeling seeing your family and, uh, you know, my dad be my coach. You know, I get to talk to him after the games and he can tell me the things I need to work on. And 
uh, just you know being able to help my game. So it's, it's been overall great experience having them here. All right. Well, thanks, Ray, and I'm Brittany McCallum here at the World University Games in Shenzhen, China.